to me about the boombox. How'd that start? How did you become the guy? Did you did you come up with the idea? Uh, well, they they heard the song. Well, I mean, we've all heard the song before. I've never heard it until y'all play, until I got played here, and I don't uh, know if that makes me old. It was like or a what. viral video, like on Twitter, with the, right, the music saying. video, yeah. the guy like resurrecting it, from the absolutely from the, yeah. good work when you did that, yeah. brought it back to life. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we heard they. I wasn't there because I just got injured with my rotator cuff. Uh, Tripping on that mound or whatever. Damn mound. Uh, yeah, a partial tear on my rotator Jesus. cuff. So I was getting shot up and doing rehab at home. But they played it at Arkansas after a homer. And uh, uh, Doty and all of them were like, bro, this, that was awesome. Like, I mean, it was bad that it happened, but it was right. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, thing. And so we just started playing in the locker room uh, before games. And we just played it like six times. Oh, yes. We didn't even care. Like, just keep repeating it. And then we asked the media people if they could play it, like, after a homer. And they were like, no, nah, we can't do that. <laughs> and, I mean, it does have some foul language, like, play like within, Arkansas? The 30, within the 30 seconds. And they're like, no, nah, we can't do it. And I think we play, like, some, like, you know, we're all about history and culture at LSU. And so I think we play, like, the theme, some, like, Alex Box theme song or something for homers. Mm. So, like, we can't do it. Cool. Something on the grand piano. Yeah. But yeah. when we hooked it up one day for BP on uh, on my phone and started playing it, and we all were going nuts on the field before anybody showed up at the field. I was about to say, so wait, wait, was this the explicit version or was this? The it was the explicit version. Yeah. <laughs> like nobody's in the stand, so it was cool. Like, Do uh, the fo- does the football team tell y'all whenever it's like whenever they're practicing? Because they used to tell us like, hey, we love when y'all are practicing because y'all play that music and we can hear it while we're playing or we're practicing. Do they ever tell y'all that? Uh, uh-uh, uh, no. Nah. They fought, they love it because they can hear it all the way yeah, when they're practicing. practicing. And they're like, damn, when y'all play, when y'all are practicing. <laughs> It kind of gives us a little juice because little we had the music behind it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so then we were like, damn, they can't play it. Uh, and then Chief, our hitting coach, was like, why don't y'all just get a, a, a speaker and play it in the dugout? And we're like, <laughs> so y'all yeah. cool with that? And he goes, yeah, well, I don't care if it means we're going to score runs. And we're like, all right. And so uh, we're like, who's got a speaker? And Brennan Holt, uh, freshman on our yep. team, I was like, yo, I got a, I got a boom box. I was like, yeah, go home. That's even right. better. I was like, go home, get it right now. And he brought it, and I, I was like, I'll – I'll bring my phone out there and connect it to the Bluetooth and every. So was it already an LSU boombox? Uh, yeah, it was already like he got for <laughs> some reason. Like I think that company made a couple for the basketball team, and then like he DM'd them was like, "Hey, can I grab one?" And they're like, "Yeah, sure." And they sent it to him like early in the fall. Wow. So I bet they're so he's, kinda, been, he's been sitting on that for a while. They're probably wow. fired up <laughs> about that. Oh yeah, they've been like they got to be. That's just I yeah. Mean, LSU baseball has tweeted that out like I mean you're walking out you're you have the, that's your profile picture yeah, now. That is, yeah. that is. So how loud is this thing coming from the dugout? Like is the first baseman looking at y'all like what the hell? Oh it it's it's pretty loud. Like it's <laughs> and can, it, can, it, you catch it on TV every now and again. Yeah, it's awesome. Especially like yesterday during the midweek game, like if I let it play too long and the cut like you can definitely hear it during a midweek game, like in the stands, like <laughs> yeah. the words. So we have to make sure we cut it off. But like when there's like ten thousand people, like the people in the stands can't hear it. We can hear it and we're going yeah. nuts, but like Bama wasn't that packed this weekend, and we were playing it, and like all the fans were like started kind of. Oh really? Yeah, there's a couple <laughs> Alabama fans. Once they started scoring runs, they were just yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's I wish oh, that's fun. That's good times. That's great time. Oh yeah. Well, oh, it, it feels yeah. like it's kind of been something that has spurred on a little bit of what LSU baseball looks like right now, where it's like there's energy back. Like we've attributed some of it to the weather, stuff like that. But I think a lot of it is like it always takes something, you know, to either get a team going in the right direction and you start playing well. Then you have something to either like attribute it to or look forward to. And it feels like it's been the it's speaker always, for this year. Yeah, but it's always something like it's, it really happens. It's like an organic thing. You mm-hmm. can't really plan it out. You don't know how it's going to happen or, or what the hell it's going to be. But it's like once a team can like – Figure out something like that that takes away from the stuffiness, if you will. Like when you're out there and you're playing and you're just kind of like, bro, we don't care, dog. We just yeah, have a good no time. Doubt. This is like, fun. Let me, let me get back in the dugout so we can have some yeah, fun. Yeah. Like boys can't wait to hear this. They can't wait to get back in it. They can't wait to. Like, and then you don't mind, like, fun. you don't mind being on the bench. Like you, everybody gets a little bit more engaged. You're like, everybody's kind of pushing in the same direction, it feels like. Just good. It's good without, for the good chemistry. Without. Yeah, you know, it's something you can't force, but mm-hmm. for sure, like, when you find that thing yeah. or something like that, like, I mean, hell, we got everybody. Yeah, like I mean, I, the games I don't play, like I'm in. I'm like, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I, I feel like I'm having the time of my life out there. Hey, y'all have a lot of juice. Whenever I feel like when people start talking a little shit to y'all, or there's some chippiness, like y'all got a lot of juice that come out. Of that. I feel like that's like early in the year. I feel like that y'all need like that when that happened, y'all played y'all's best baseball, right? But yeah. it was hard to continue to create that juice. And I think that's what the boombox does. Is it gives you the juice always, right? 
with that, you always have people in the dugout that like to chirp a little bit. Y'all have a little, y'all a little chirpy in the dugout? Uh, a little bit. I mean, I'm not a big fan of like fake juice. Like, no, it can't things, have fake juice. Yeah, like that. You, it has to be like real. It has to be like even the chirps. Like, I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna talk crap unless like you come at me. Then it's I mean yeah, I grew yeah, yeah. up with three brothers. Like you say something to me, yeah, I'm coming at you. Right, a hundred percent. And I think we've had that. Like Florida, we kind of got into it. And uh, what was the other couple? You had two like there was like one or two other incidents. Like it was Florida, and then you had another one where was it maybe it wasn't Arkansas, Mississippi State. I think it was maybe State, Florida State, and then. Uh, a and M a little bit too, yeah. uh, just because Coop, whenever he gets a big strikeout, he just lets them hear. It. Like, does he? Ma- oh God, yeah, he just lets them hear it every. Who time. talks the most shit on the team? Uh, we got that much shit talking. Okay, yeah, I love it. <laughs> like in the game, actually, probably Coop. Like when he gets a strikeout or whatever, like uh-huh. it's it's a lot of words that he probably needs to go to church for after. I love and, that. Like, <laughs> He lets him know. He Rizzo like, kind of gets in their ass. Hey, too. He Rez does. does. Rez right? Does. I, didn't, I didn't see like and when it's he can... shocking from Rez. Right? Like, Rez ain't like that. Boy. Yeah. He like I mean when you're throwing 98, 99 and you strike somebody he out. He had one the other day. He struck someone out. I don't know what inning it was, but like he like literally stared the guy down. He like started walking towards yes. the guy. I'm like, yes. Yo, all right, yes. we're, we're going. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need that though. Oh yeah. You have that it it gives a lot. I mean that's what makes like sports fun. Is I mean. Not like you want to get in a brawl or anything, but like that competitiveness, like, hey, like I'm better than you. We're going to come, like, all that. Like, I mean, there's some games where, like, like last night where it's no, there's nothing going on or whatever, but then, I mean, it's SEC. Like, every game matters. It's a playoff game. Like, you're going to get, like, we're fighting for our lives. You're all fighting for our lives. It's going to happen. And, uh, I mean, it's fun when it does. It makes the games a lot more. Like, I think that was the energy boost against Florida, like, that really got us going yep. and fired us up.